Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com. A lot of people wondering, where are the Nikon DLs? The DL 2485, DL 18-50, and then they got the, the long one. I can't remember what that was, 24 to 3 or 400, but the long one. Might have been a 500. In any case, I'll put a link below. You can check it out. It's just the, the, uh, the third one escapes me on what the actual um, length of the zoom was on that. But where are they? I know when they were announced, I was very excited. I had one on pre-order, and I've, I think I've since canceled the pre-order on Amazon um, because they were supposed to have been out originally. I believe the original release date was supposed to be uh, late summer or early fall, and then it was bumped out into December, and then it was bumped out into January. I'm just going by memory of what the, the bumps were on Amazon for my pre-order, and then that's when I canceled, and now I have no idea when they're supposed to be out. <laughs> and no faith in what is being announced as the current uh, expected date. At this point, it might be worth Nikon revamping them because something you announced, well, I guess probably close to a year ago, if not a year ago, uh, and still not to market with, is it worth bringing it out without redoing it at this point? I don't know. It's an interesting question and one that I had another viewer asking me about. We've had a lot of questions on this. Um, Let's see here. We have uh, Vienna Wolf writing in, and they said, uh, it's a YouTube username. Hi, is it worth waiting for the Nikon DL 24 to 85 brackets, not at least because of the 15 millimeter, millimeter more lens? Uh, or do you think the Sony would be the better choice? I need a small, good camera for my motorcycle to tours. Thank you for your answer, and greetings from Austria. So long, the Wolf. Oh, um, greetings back to Austria. And uh, thank you for your question. My suggestion would be, um, I, I, I hear what you're saying and I feel your pain because, as I said, I have one on pre-order. And I like a lot of things. I like the fact that it's a hot shoe so I could control remote uh, off-camera lighting. I like the fact, as you said, the extra reach on the lens, the 15 mil, is very nice. And I wanted to see how Nikon was doing with a small compact competitor there, the one inch. But since I don't know when it's coming out, I wouldn't wait because the answer is here and it's not Sony. The Panasonic LX10 is amazing. Love that camera. It's a little faster at the wide end, f1.4. Does give us two more millimeters at the long end, so 72. Very good lens, 4K, beautiful little camera for around 650, I think. I'll put a link below. You can check it out. That's my recommendation. I have it here for review right now. I love it. I'm finding myself shooting with it all the time. It's my go-to camera. Um, basically for the old axiom that the best camera is the one that you have on you or the one that you use. And this little guy is, fits in the palm of your hand. You can see my previous videos on it. And it's about $300 cheaper than the Sony. So I see no reason to recommend the Sony. That's my uh, feedback on that. Although I do hope Nikon does something and we can see these cameras, the DL2485, I'd love to play with one. But if you need something now, don't wait. The Panasonic LX10 is here and it's fantastic. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Leave your feedback below your co in the comments. Let us know what you would do. Would you wait for the DL? Would you go LX10? I would. Or would you buy Sony? Thanks for your question, Vienna. Hello again to Austria. And stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.